Disability is something imposed on top of our impairment by the way we are unnecessarily isolated and excluded from full participation in society. Hi, uh, I want to get on the bus. Why can't I get on? To tell disabled people that it wasn't their impairments that were disabling them about the barriers in society was just magical. As the 80s drew to a close, the desire to challenge society grew stronger within the disabled community. When will we be able to ride the bus? A simple question, we want a straightforward answer. What have you done to the bus? Uh, I've just chained myself to it with an anchor. I'm spasticus, I'm spasticus, I'm spasticus, autisticus, I'm spasticus, I'm spasticus, I'm spasticus. Disabled people began to organize protests against the things that, in their view, limited their involvement in mainstream society. It became increasingly difficult to ignore the angry voices of disabled people, voices which had been silent and shut away for so many years. In 1995, the government finally passed the Disability Discrimination Act. It was, in many ways, the culmination of 40 years of protest and policy change. The 1995 Disability Discrimination Act um, broke new ground in Britain because it was a piece of civil rights legislation and because it used the concept of reasonable accommodation, which had to be met in order to make facilities um, accessible to disabled people. What it did, or what it will always do, is make it quite clear, both legally and in trying in parliamentary law, that discrimination against disabled people exists because we fought so long to get that recognition. These were victories which disabled people had to win for themselves. I get emotional when I, when I think about access and politics because um, because it did take a struggle to spend all day in the piss and rain, handcuffed to a bus. It wasn't because we wanted to do it as a bit of fun. We were doing it because we were fighting for our rights, rights that can easily be taken away from you. <laughs> 